Okay, yeah. Ride With No Ceiling was our first radio song. That was our first label check. That was with J-Dog, your first label check. Was it no rock? On top of the world, like Tony, homie. Kids good. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. When, when the last time y'all walked out the studio and said, you know what, I can't do this right now with you. Me and you been together since high school, nigga. You tripping. I got to go. Yeah, we'll be having no. Yeah, whatever you're Never. No. We'll no problem. You know what it is? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it is. I think it's a problem. I'm going to make this. I thing. know y'all had disagreements before. Wait, no, no. We, we, we don't agree on everything. But, but not like, no. Nah, as a personality nah, trait, that. we're not emotional guys. We're not emotional creatures. A lot of rappers are emotional. A lot of artists are emotional. You know, they're sensitive about that shit. We're not really sensitive niggas like that. Like, yeah. if I disagree with something he doing, you gonna I don't gotta up? fight him about it. Nah, it's like, all right. that's what you think. All right. Yeah, that's what you think. Yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how we. I feel like a lot of relationships could work because of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm that. not. We don't fire off at each other. Like, I'm in no relationship in my life. Do I say something to somebody that I gotta call back and say, all right, look, man, I was tripping. I, was tripping. I oh. didn't mean to say that. I'm not gonna say it. Okay, what well, have your sister ever pulled you up and be like, don't do it. You work with this or you oh, done yeah. that? I didn't like what you done that. Yeah. She, so gon', yeah, she gon' do that, she but we don't do that. Yeah, because she emotional. Yeah. I had to go yeah. to somebody that yeah. I know gonna be yeah, emotional. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. She not gonna, yeah, she we do just, that for sure. We <laughs> not, we're not, everybody say, y'all the most nonchalant producers I ever saw. Like, even when we play beach, you know, people be in your face. Yeah. We be sitting in the back of the room, one nigga might be talking, whatever, and it's like, y'all don't, y'all don't sell us the beat. No. Nigga, because if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't, don't, you don't. It's a million of them motherfuckers. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> which, which, which beat you guys gave out? And y'all was like, didn't, we never didn't gave know. a beat out. No, not gave. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> the dad no. The Don ain't trying to hear. Be done like hell. No, nah, we ain't give a nigga nothing. Nigga. Sure. But I'm just saying one that y'all y'all somebody picked that they got from you guys that y'all didn't know it was gonna blow like it did. Robin no Sim. It messed y'all head up. It messed y'all head up. Summertime. Summertime. I think summertime. It messed y'all head up. It did. Okay. Yeah. Robin no Sim was our first radio song. <laughs> That was our first that was with label J-Dog, check. Your first label check. Hey, was it no rock? On top of the world, like Tony Homie. Rhyme No Sinner was before or after the plaque? Uh, Rhyme No Sinner was before. before the plaque? Nah, the plaque came first. Okay, so that was our second label check. Yeah, but that wasn't, these weren't radio songs. Yeah. On Toy's album. Yeah, this, we just you had to go listen to the outro yeah. to the album. You wouldn't have you heard it. Hear hear right. right. Yeah. Rhyme No Sinner here played every time we got in the car. Every when I pull out them haters feel miserable Cause the top on my lap Every, every, every time And we, that was a beat We was gonna sell to somebody for $300 A year prior Wow And Ray Face called Say, hey man, well, y'all got one of the songs On Rob, no shit we gonna, uh, You know, they play it to the left When you got the single They always play it to the left And then we was like, alright, cool And then when we find out what it was And we heard it And then they put it out Every day that song play. BT, I come on every day. BT on, you see the video playing. Yeah. That was like our first like. No way. I can say that was one of our first biggest song that got us like looks outside of Houston. Yeah. Wow. Because yeah. they were still they were still signed at that time to Giffen. Yeah. So that music was everywhere. Mm -hmm. Wow. People heard that and they our phone started ringing. Well, that's hard. Yeah, right phone there. started ringing. I we like ended up it. doing stuff with shit. Soldier Boy, Gucci Man back on their mixtapes, them uh, Gangsta Grills back then. I ain't wrong. That was that's, a mixtape era. It's hella beats that we play for people that when it's time to play beats, it's like, damn, I'm going to skip over this one. I'm going to skip over this one. And they pick the ones you skip over. And that yeah. being one of their favorite songs. Now, that's happened a million times. Mm -hmm. But as far as like Robin on Ceiling Blue, there's, we didn't think nothing of that song. We didn't yeah. think nothing of the beat. You know, beat jam, but it's like we make beats all the time. I don't know how you, about yeah. you. I feel like that about summertime. Know that I was coming yeah. from my trap, from my trap. Yeah. It wasn't known like when we did summertime with Zero and Snoop Dogg. Yeah. It wasn't known that, that it wasn't said that this gonna be our single. Same we were just working yeah. on a, a project. And nah. it, we had them. We had them three days a week at the time we was working on that. Mm -hmm. That was just another song in the pot. It's summertime in my city, man. City, it's man. a bunch of fine dimes looking yeah. pretty, man. Oh, man, that's that's favor too. The night, don't get me wrong. The night, the night. Okay, it was a different beat, and they were like, "We need something brighter that can play on the radio." So when we played that beat, and I remember 
Zero going in the booth and doing the um swing through the dun, dun, dun. and it, it was I think I was recording I was sitting at the what's night you know late night you know you tired and when he did that I was, what's the Folgers <laughs> commercial when you wake yeah, up yeah, right you there? seen it you heard something okay but Zero's good for taking that that old taking something from somewhere else and singing it on top of it and going oh shit that's the Nate dog okay mm -hmm. nigga. Uh, now, did I think we was gonna hear it to the point where we it was song. every day? Yeah, I remember I was walking in the club one time, and, and, and I was and, I ain't gonna and lie. B was it. doing it. B was doing you this to the DJ. Yeah, he was doing that to the. I never he was he tired. He was that. tired of hearing. He was tired of hearing it. I didn't. I'm gonna be real. When we first made this song, it wasn't one of my favorite ones. Yeah. It was. Uh, so that song. mean that whatever your favorite might not be the hit. The second one was loving you. I, <laughs> loving you is the song I wanted to run with first. G loving you is cool, but getting money is the only thing that's on. Yeah, that's the one I thought. I knew that was gonna do something. I was like, yeah, this the one. And that other one stuck his head up and said, "Yeah, yeah. I'm here." Summertime, 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 summertime. 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 I'm in the city. It was perfect. We're gonna hear this song. They still play. They still they, play. They on rotation. How it was, but, but it still you're play. You're gonna hear when yeah, yeah. as soon as that song come out and get hot. That song is part of Houston culture forever. That song is not going nowhere. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.